Now, I know it's getting very hot out there. I think if you all just put a bit of money into the collection tin, we'll lower the temperature by a degree or two right now. <laughs> Um, seriously, we thank AAA um, for the speakers this morning, but we do need a little bit of a donation to help offset the cost of that. If you don't mind afterwards popping a little something in there, we would very much appreciate it and to offset some printing costs as well. Um, I'm wrapping up now. Um, John Barrett with the National Civic Council has a few news weekly magazines. He's put it on the cover this week. It is very topical right around our country, not only this week, but un unfortunately probably for the foreseeable future. Um, inside those news weeklies there are forms to order the DVDs of Lord Monckton's tour that happened last year. Um, there is an open letter to the Prime Minister that's gone out from several very good organizations, many of which are here today, um, so watch for that. I'd like to thank all of our speakers, our marshals, the promoters, the printers, and people who just spread the word. Thanks to our pro-carbon tax protesters. I don't know if he's still here. Ah, oh, where is he? Well, oh, bugger. Uh, <laughs> that's my attempt at Australian. Um, <laughs> they were scared enough of what we were doing to create their own anti protest protest that's happening at noon down at the convention center and thereby highlighting the fact that people who normally do not protest have come out today to show their concern about governance going awry. We'd like to thank the radio stations RTR and 6PR who gave us the opportunity to put our ideas forward this morning in a debate forum. Thanks to the musicians who gave us permission to use their music this morning. We thank, you, thank um, Sergeant Steve Dawson and all of the WA Police Department that were here today. Thank you very much, guys. We know it's part of your job, but still it's nice to give you a good thanks every once in a while. Um, thanks to Tim back here in the corner from AAA. Most of all, thanks to each one of you for attending here today, for caring about our country, caring about accountability, and caring for our future. The cost of everything will go up under this tax. Agriculture is not exempt. Consumers will not be insulated. Nobody will escape the devastating effect of this tax. And make no mistake, this is a tax. It will be administered by governments, most of whom have never even run a, a school tuck shop, let alone a massive business. The potential for corruption and rorts is monumental. And as for moving to renewable energy, when has innovation ever prospered under taxation laws? This is a pipe dream. And last but not least, if the government was serious about saving the planet, which after all is what this tax is supposed to be about, would they still be selling coal and iron ore to China with a population of 1.5 billion and India with a population of 1.15 billion while taxing Australians a population of 22 million? I don't know anyone who's not for a cleaner environment, but by how much will this tax on carbon dioxide reduce the temperature and how much will it cost? So where to from here? Today's protest is not the end. It is only the beginning. Our road is long and our battle is fierce, but we have truth on our side. And truth is a very powerful ally. <laughs> it's okay. Most of the people here have never protested before and showing anger is not something that we normally do. It is okay to be angry but we need not be violent. It is good to be passionate, but we need not beat people over the head. Truth is a beautiful, strong, uplifting friend, and with her on our side, we will prevail. I am only one person. Government is so unaccountable, and the problem is so big. What can I do? Snowflakes make a snowdrift, and raindrops make a flood. Together, we can move mountains. That might mean writing letters to politicians or to editors. That might involve ringing talkback radio. That might involve questioning teachers about what our children are being taught. It might mean simply that we put a no carbon tax sticker on our car or ute or truck or fridge. Oftentimes, it's not so much what we say, but what we don't say that speaks volumes. There is a place for every one of you in the fight ahead of us. You need not do everything but it is vital that you do your thing. You've done that simply by being here today. Go in peace, but maintain the rage. No carbon tax.